Yo guys, welcome back to a brand new OPOP League video, and today guys, it is week 16 of the OPOP League, and it is the single prize week again, and we are playing against Flex Daddy Righteous today. Um, yes, single prize week is back, the best format. Um, now, as you can see, I am on Limitless right now, and uh, look at this, there is a 72-hour single prize format tournament. Look who came in first place, what a what a sight to see. Oh my god, Little Dark 3 won. Um, yes, I won a tournament on Limitless. It was a single prize tournament. And I actually played um, this Galarian Weezing deck here, which I thought was really good. Galarian Weezing's ability is really strong in a format where people rely on stuff like Cinchino and Snorlax and Jirachi to set up. This is what I played. It was Weezing Spirit Tomb. I won the tournament. So I got a good feel of how this deck plays, how the format kind of works. Some of the most popular decks in the entire tournament ended up being Baby Dragapult here, which got second place. A lot of Baby Dragapults in this tournament. This deck seems to be really strong in this single prize format. So probably going to play this Baby Dragapult deck today here against Lex Daddy. But this deck was pretty popular. I played against it in the finals. I took it down. Um, of course, Bird Boy was playing Control. There was a Cinderace deck. Uh, Mad Party. <laughs> Kicked up. He's going to play ADP. Lol. Um, and I think it was like a Charizard deck. But for the most part, it was a lot of Baby Dragapult and a lot of... Um, yeah, a lot of Baby Dragapult, which seems to be one of the best decks in single prize format. Um, and I took the tournament down with a Galarian Weezing deck here. Um, so if we go back to PDCGO, of course, the main deck I'm going to play, I'm going to start with this Weezing deck. I have bumped the list up a bit from the uh, tournament I won with. I am playing more Toxicroak. Like, Toxicroak was so important. Like Being able to do that poison damage going back into my opponent's turn was so crucial to me winning the game. I'm telling you right now, the poison damage in this deck is ridiculous. I had to bump the Toxicroak line. The list is pretty, same, pretty much the same, though. Still the Tombs. Uh, but again, the Toxic Stroke engine is just bumped up more. Another deck I'm going to be playing, I'm going to try out that Baby Dragapult deck that did take second place, of course, the deck I took down because it is still a pretty strong deck in this format. So I do want to make sure that I am playing it here. Of course, Dragapult is really strong with that ability. Infiltrator, and we have Cinchino and Snorlax in the deck too. Really a strong deck, so I wanted to make sure I played it here. I made a few changes to the list. I did add... I cut a Sonya for a Rose. I think Rose is really good in this deck because when something gets knocked out, you get an Energy and a Rare Candy and a Dragapult. It's just really good um, to play Rose, I feel like. So I wanted to make sure I had a couple Roses in here. Uh, but I am going to be playing at this. And then finally, I am playing this interesting Zapdos deck I built. Um, it's a Zapdos counter box type of deck here for the single prize format. Uh, we have Zapdos. You play really aggressive with Zapdos. Of course, you use stuff like boss's order take some easy knockouts on low hp pokemon and then i have a bunch of counter pokemon like hoopa for that dragon ball matchup and then kangaskhan can hit pretty hard too entei if we run into a metal deck like duraludon and then of course i'm playing rowlet in here we have bird keeper we can play rowlet snipe some stuff if we ever get a chance we have circuitry and i'm also playing baby blacephalon which is really good too with fire bomb a lot of this deck comes together with tapu koko prism allowing you to get that extra energy and play on these pokemon um so i might play the zapdos counter box deck here um I want to try it out for the single prize format. It looks like a really fun deck. Um, could be really cool. And of course, Leon to do more damage with your stuff. Just hit harder. Might be a really fun deck to play. So I might try the Zapdos counter box deck against Flex Daddy. But those are the three decks I've chosen for the single prize format. Again, this is like the best format, in my opinion, on PC Show you could play. And now hopefully Pokemon actually ends up adding this. You know what? That server they put out, there's a chance that we do see the single prize format come into PC Joe. That'd be great. If we had another format to play in on PC Joe, it would be so good for content. It would also just be sick because everybody likes the single prize format. You get a break from, you know, two prizes, which is amazing. So, hey, you know what? If the single prize format ends up coming to PC Joe, bro, that would make me happy. That'd make a lot of people happy. But anyways, let's get into the matches against Flex Daddy. Let's see if we can take him down here. All right, guys, here we go with the matches against Flex Daddy. I am going to open up with the Galarian Weezing deck here. Um, we'll see how that does. All right, we won the coin flip. Definitely going to go first once again. Want to be making sure we're going first here. And there's a mulligan. We'll see how we do. So, yeah, wheezing. And then maybe we'll go to Dragapult. I might go to Zapbox, so we'll see. If we if we end up playing three games, we'll definitely... I'll play all three different decks. I think that'd be pretty good. All right, let's see what we get here. Ooh, we got the tomb. It's got a bunch of tombs. Not the worst hand ever. We can calm for a coughing. Uh... We'll see what he's playing. Ooh, Dawn Fan. That might be a bad matchup, actually. Okay, hold on. Let's go. Building Spite. Building Spite. Honestly, Spirit Tomb might be better than Weezing here. To be honest. Yeah, Tomb might be the better Pokemon. We probably still have to use Weezing, though, at some point. I think we definitely just want to get a bunch of Spirit Tombs in play. Okay. Can we get knocked down the active? 
don't think so. You can do 10 damage. Yeah, we should be chilling. Yeah. We'll get a coffee next turn. We do still probably need Weezing. Shutting off abilities, I think, is still pretty relevant in this matchup. We'll see what kind of Dawn fan deck this is. Could be Dawn Tomb. No, he's got, man, he's got Altaria. The quick ball gets rid of another Altaria. Gets another Dawn fan. Gets a, gets a Jirachi. Yeah, not sure the abilities are going to be too relevant here. I don't know if we want to shut them off or not. Ooh, Stone Energy. That's actually bad. Now we can't knock out the fan P with Anguish Cry, which is pretty awkward. Okay. Do we still hit? I think we do. Ooh, there's a copy top deck. I think we still just hit him. We can maybe kill him with Weezing. That'd be pretty good. This fighting weakness is pretty rough. Now, I wish I chose Baby Dragon Pult. <laughs> Would have been definitely a little bit better. We just hit him. He might not have a Dawn fan. He didn't do anything last turn. Like, he didn't play Supporter. He might not have anything. Maybe he's stuck. He might not have the Dawn fan. He might He might not. No, he has a Dawn fan. How much HP does it have? 150. 120 HP. We actually can't knock it out with Anguish Cry. That's pretty bad. Him damaging the other Dawn fans was good. That puts it to 130, which is perfect. Alright, we promote the Coughing. We draw Research. Evil Intent. That gets wheezing. We do want to try to poison him here. Do uh, Marnie's risky because he gets a supporter. I think I have to Marnie though. Have to try to get an energy or something. Didn't get an energy. A little awkward. Uh, I don't want him to get a boss. Yeah, not getting energy there kind of stings. He has a boss. That's pretty bad. Just bench these, I guess. Not much I can do. I think I'm just gonna pass. I'm gonna hold the big charms. There's really no need to put them anywhere because Dom fan just destroys me. Ooh, if only we chose Baby Dragapult. Zapdos would have been decent, too. Well, Cephalon can wreck him. Baby Blown could be really good. We chose <laughs> we chose the wrong deck in this first match here. We sh it should have been Zapdos or Baby Pult. Baby Pult would have been really good because it has resistance to fighting, so we can't one-shot me. And then we also have that ability on top of that. Memory Capsule. Another Stone Energy. Yep, there's the boss. I knew it. I knew we got the boss. No. <laughs> Not like this. We can still poison him next to the double thing. We can do 80 damage with poison. We need to get those tombs back ASAP. All right, research. Hope for the best. Okay, we got the black market. That's huge. Black market is so, so good. I don't know if he has a counter to it. We'll see if he does. He might play a dojo, but we'll see. We can severe poison him here. 80 damage. He'll get knocked out going back into my turn, uh, which is really nice. He has 20 HP. He'll get knocked out going back into my turn. He can knock me out. Um, if he knocks me out, what do we do? We don't have a follow-up supporter, which kind of sucks. Maybe he'll Marty me. Does he have a supporter? That's like if he had another, if he had another boss, that would suck. We maybe should have benched Krogunk, but we don't have enough toss Yeah, okay, he just knocks me out straight back. 780 damage. Holy cow. I have to Jirachi here because of Spirit Tomb. Won't be able to cut it. Mew. It's not a good prize. Alright, what are we getting? Nothing really. Ooh, not good. I think we gotta go Mew here. I'll let him knock out the Mew. This is not good. We're in trouble. <laughs> this is just a bad matchup, bro. How, like, we just. Dawn Fan's just a bad matchup for this deck. Like, we would have to have, like, a bunch of tombs in play ready to attack. But because you have that boss KO, we're down a tomb, which is bad. Maybe we should have went side power because we're drawing an energy. We should have went side power. But what do I even? Uh, the Dawn. We don't really need to hit the Dawn fan, anyways. Did I forget to do building spite? I didn't. Right. We're doing 160. So one more building spite. 160. Alright, never mind. We didn't forget to do building spite. Should have done side power as well. Where would we put the damage though? I don't really think it matters. I guess we could have hit the other Jirachi. Oh, we got the net. He has a knockout. That's fine. We knock him out too. As long as he doesn't have a boss. Okay, research is not a boss, at least. We can knock out the Dawn fan. I'm curious to see if he has a counter stadium, though. We should have attached the spirit to him actually to have an energy on it, but he doesn't have a he doesn't have a boss right now. He could Fion me, I guess. We feed him a Toxic Crow if he does that. We should have definitely put damage on this Jirachi. I didn't consider that because now, yeah, the earthquake. That was a misplay for sure.
I can sit back again. Oh, he's gonna boss me. I think I threw this game. Uh, I should have promoted the tomb, but I was greedy, bro. I wanted a supporter. I shouldn't have gone greedy, though. He probably has boss in hand. It's probably game over. He can't take a prize? He probably has boss. I should have just promoted the tomb. I don't know why I didn't just promote tomb and take a KO. I should have done that. I don't know why I went... That's annoying. That's fine, though. It's not the end of the world. We're gonna have to probably take an L here. This matchup is still hard regardless of what we have and what we don't have. We're also just not finding a draw supporter, which isn't helping. So I definitely think... This is just a bad matchup for this deck. This matchup's just bad. It's like the Excadrill deck. When I chose this deck against Tablemon last time we did the single price format, he played Excadrill, which is an, it's just another bad number for this dark deck. So this dark deck just takes bad matchups. I could play this deck again, though, which I'm tempted to, but I might just swap over to Dragapult or Zapdos. We'll see. I'm just... If he doesn't have a counter stadium, we could still win, but we... Do, he needs to not boss me here for us to win this game. But I guess then he just boss bosses. I don't know. I think we're going to lose this. We just seem to be dead drawing, too, on top of this. <laughs> How many scubas has he played? Just one. Yeah, I think we're still gonna lose this. Unless we find a supporter soon, which we desperately need. Building Spite again, I guess, in case he whips the KO. How many energies has he played? Three. We gotta hope this is a good prize. No, dude! Where's my supporters? I played ten of them! That was one of the issues I had with this deck in the tournament I was in. I couldn't find supporters for the life of me. Case in point, we seem to just not be drawing very well today with our supporters. That was one of the issues I had with this deck when I played it. Supporters just never came to my hand. This is proof of that. Alright, we'll swap over to Dragapult after. This is just not it. We're getting pummeled, bro. This is a bad match for this deck. I think we feed him the crow. The only way we could have won this is if we just had a bunch of tombs in play. Like, this is still winnable, but it's like, we, we're also just dead drawing, which is just not helping. Dead drawing doesn't help our case at all. It's one of the other issues this deck. Oh, he's going to Marty me? Okay, this is perfect. As long as we don't get it, we whiff a supporter, bro. What do we get? We could confuse him, actually. We could go coughing, confuse. Rod's really good. We can go, like, coughing, confuse him. How many switches he played? Two scoop up nets. One air balloon. If he doesn't get a Fampy down, Confusion is actually pretty good. And then we just got to hope for some RNG, bro. We need the RNG on our side. I think we confuse him. Hope he doesn't get a Fampy down. Then he, like, scoop up nets into another Dawn fan. All right, nice. No Fampy. He still isn't getting prizes, which is, like, the big thing, right? The fact that he's not getting prizes is huge. u turn board's pretty good. We definitely have to Marnie him. I don't know if I want to Marnie him or not. There's a chance he, like, doesn't get anything off the Marnie here. I do need to get another... But actually, it's probably too late for Spirit Tomb to matter. I think we just make him keep the hand and hope he doesn't have the nuts. Actually, we should have held the U-turn board. No, but we might get knocked out. Let's just go for the file loader. I'm not going to Marnie him. He didn't really do much with his hand, right? So there's a chance he doesn't have the nuts. And he has a nuts, he has a nuts. Maybe we should have Marnie to find boss too. Maybe we should have went for boss. Because we can boss Vampy Poison him. If he scoop up nets. He could just flip. He could just get heads, right? But if he gets heads, we knock him out of the anguish cry. Um, I don't know. This, <laughs> this matchup's so bad. The only thing that's saving us right now is this black market. But as soon as he gets a boss. Like, if, if he knocks out coffee in here, all he needs is a boss to go talk stroke. Because he doesn't have an energy on it. So, this game is probably over if he ever finds a boss. So, it's like... We gotta get lucky to win this. There's still a window. There's still a chance to win this. But we need some insane luck on our side if we're gonna take this down. I should have knocked him out that tomb, though, instead of promoting Jirach. That was just silly of me. I don't know why I did that. Sometimes you just gotta take the bad matchups. You gotta take an L to these bad matchups. It happens. Okay, he's gonna Marty me. That's fine. We just gotta hope he doesn't get a switch out. I don't know if he plays any normal switches. That's the other thing, too. He might play Bird Keeper, but he can't play that now. Didn't get a supporter. We did get the wheezing though, which is good. That, bro, no, dude, the coin flip, no, uh -huh. no, and yeah, that's probably game over. That was just, that was, that's unfortunate. Each <laughs> the lucky heads, Keck W. 
Yeah, this game's over now. This game's over. That was our only chance of winning, was we had to just get lucky. If he flipped tails, we could have went wheezing and poisoned him, and then we could just... Come up in there. We just swing with Tomb. Hope he doesn't KO it. I don't know at this point. I, I'm just giving up, pretty much. I'm just, like, giving up. I'm giving up. I got the tool scrap out of the deck. If we had tool scrapper, we could have removed this. That would have been pretty good. We're still in top deck mode. Still can't find a supporter. As you can see, I played 10 of them, and I still can't seem to find one. So that's another issue. Yeah, there's a scoop up net. The game's not over yet. He still has to, like, heal the Jirachi. Like, he knocks out... He only has one net left. Like, he knocks out his own Jirachi with the, with the thing. Yeah, this is a bad matchup. If only I chose Dragapult. Yeah, he's got the boss. Dang, bro. All right. We'll go first. We'll play the Dragapult deck. Yeah, it's unfortunate. Bad matchup. Bad matchup is a bad matchup. I don't know if I'm going to play this deck again. Every time I bring this deck to the OPOP OP League, I get paired against a fighting deck. It's like, bro, <laughs> oh, come on. All right. We're choosing Baby Pult now because that deck can probably take a dub. Hopefully. No more wheezing, though. I keep hyping the deck up. I want a tournament with it online, and I keep getting paired against fighting decks every time I play it. it this is not meant to be, apparently, in the OPOP OP League. It just was not meant to be. Okay. Opie Opie Baby Pult. Here we go. Dragapult time. Can we win with it? Let's find out. We need to win this, dude. If I lose two games, because nah, it's a bad deck choice. No, dude. Baby Pult could be good, though, for sure. It'll be pretty good. Or maybe we should choose Zap, though, actually. I'm just gonna wait for a fly. Maybe we should choose Zapdos, actually. Hold on, hold on. We'll, we'll see what he says. Just message on my Discord here. Let's see what he says. Maybe we should choose Zapdos, though. And maybe maybe go Zapdos and then Dragapult? I kind of want to try out the Zapdos deck. Alright, let's just do Zapdos, YOLO. Let's YOLO it. We already lost the point. Let's just do Zapdos. See how the Zap box goes. Alright, hopefully, you got my message. All right, boom. Here we go. Here we go. That Wait, no, we want to go second. Why would I go for... Oh, my God, I'm throwing. Why would I say I want to go second? Oh, I should have went second. All right, no, it's fine. It's fine. It's fine because our hand's a little disappointing. Okay. I should... Why? I should have said I wanted to go second. Ooh, baby Cinderace. This might be a tough matchup regardless. Doesn't matter what deck we chose. But I guess going... First is fine because he can't do his like can't do his wombo combo turn one. I guess he's like a turn behind anyways. Maybe it's actually fine to go second. Because he's like a turn behind. And we have boss. We actually have a pretty good hand here. If we can find an energy for next turn. Maybe no, I think this is still a winnable matchup. This might actually be a better matchup for this deck than it would be Dragapult. To be honest with you. To be honest with you. Don't even know what I was. There's so many Pokemon I can choose from. I choose Zapdos. I don't mind having a second Zapdos. My game plan here is we want to boss knock this out. We just didn't get an energy. We have no way to... How much energy do we have? Four. We have five Lightning and four Auroras. So all the energy is in the deck. Maybe Blime's going to be pretty huge here too. I think we just take the Zapdos. I don't think we need to do like double Stellar Wish. We could take Rowlet. Yeah, let's take Rowlet in case he... Um, in case he doesn't get a Mew down. We can go Rowlet and snipe the score bunny. Going first does seem kind of bad, thinking about it. But it might pay off because he's a turn behind of evolving. So it kind of works out. To be honest, Weezing would probably struggle in this matchup too. Because we do shut off Cinderace's ability. I don't know. Maybe we should have went Weezing. I didn't want to go Weezing twice though. Because like it just wouldn't be... Wouldn't be... I don't know. 
I don't know. I like, I don't know. We'll see. I could have held the Leon. What would Leon be good for? It does 110. Zapdos doing 110 damage. Doesn't really do enough numbers. Yeah, it can't. I'm assuming he's getting a Snorlax here. Yeah, we can't one-shot Snorlax. Here. We force him to get a Mew down here. Or we, well, that's assuming we can find Bird Keeper. We need to get energy or a Bird Keeper to knock out this score bunny. If we get a KO here, this is really big, guy. Right, come on, top deck gods. Okay, we got the Bird Keeper. So at least we can Rattle Snipe him. Take the rod, just so we have a dead card in case he Marnies me. 6 HP, let's go. There's the energy, all right. We got a calm too. Don't really want to reveal that I'm playing the Blown because I want to save that for later. That has to be like a secret spice. The energy. See, if I held the Leon, we could have hit this for 110, but we can just hit it for uh, 80 damage. We have boss. So next turn, we're able to go boss, thunderous assault, knock out another score bunny as long as he doesn't Marnie me, but that probably will happen. But we can just keep uh, sniping his score bunnies down with Zapdos here. If we just play this matchup properly, we should win this. If he Marnies me, though, that could be pretty bad. Unless we get Marnie into boss switch. But if we don't get Marnied, we're chilling because we can knock out the score bunny again. If we just keep picking off his score bunnies. It's not going to work. We also have Bird Keeper. So, like, we can still try to snipe this with Bird Keeper if we didn't get a boss. All right. Does he have a Marnie? He has a rod. I'm a little... Marnie, let's go. Get another knockout. So we can Bird Keeper KO. Do I want to go Bird Keeper? We can go Scoop Up Net into Zapdos. And we'll s and we can Bird Keeper again. It doesn't, I don't think it actually matters the order I do this. I think we do Bird Keeper. Ooh, Air Balloon. I'm going to put that on Zapdos. Rowlet has a one retreat cost. Okay. I'm going to calm the Mew. What's a good attacker in this matchup? Zapdos. We'll, we might just want to solve with Zapdos here. I think we just get another Zapdos. Hmm. Put that down. I don't want to get a bunch of switches. I don't want to get Marnied into a bad hand. That's why I was like, ooh, maybe we should have held the speed energy. I didn't want to get that. We're in a really good spot right now, though. We're just sniping the bunnies. If he doesn't, if he's not able to ever get two bunnies in play, I mean, it's just like we can just constantly keep sniping, knocking them out. I really, maybe we should have attached to the Rowlet, actually. We should have put the energy on the Rowlet and sent staff, though. But I wanted to play the speed energy. Okay, got the double score bunny. That's fine. There's the Marnie. This is pretty bad because we just drew a bunch of switching there. As long as we can get like a Bird Keeper though, we can still go for the Rowlet snipe. Let's see what we get. Okay, we did get Bird Keeper. So we can still snipe the Score Bunny. If he keeps putting abilities in play too, Hoopa can do a lot of damage too. It's never going to one-shot though, but it's still going to hit pretty hard. Baby Blown is going to be our ace in the hole, I think. Baby Blown is going to be our ace in the hole, but we need him to bench more stuff that we can damage. Like if we can hit a Snorlax pretty hard... Um, if we could just hit Snorlax for 80, it'll have, what, 50 HP left? Then we have 70 more damage we can do with Blown. We can take two prizes. If we ever get a turn where we take two or three prizes with Baby Lecephalon, this is over, pretty much. He got the nuts, bro. That's a lot of bunnies. Bird Keeper... I'm gonna put the energy on the Kangaskhan. Oh, wind shard. Knock out this. Just bop the bunnies. Bop the bunnies. If we can ever get a boss, we can try to boss Minchino, knock it out with Zapdos. Doesn't have enough HP to get hit. If I played a goon, that'd be nice. We have Kangaskhan though. Oh, the Zap box deck. Insane. And he doesn't get a Cinderace down. These all have 90 HP though. So I think now our game plan is just swing with Zapdos. Get some damage on the Snorlax so we can set up that Blacephalon play. We're really far ahead. Like, we're really far ahead right now. We're going to be doing a lot of two-shotting at this point, but we're pretty dang far ahead, I would say. Make do. Does he ever get... He's down two Score Bunny. Yeah. We'll see if he gets another one down this turn. He needs a Rod. I don't think he's going to find it. If he doesn't get Score Bunny, again, we just swing with Zapdos. We could also just do Wind Shard, though. Nah, we're not. We're out of Bird Keeper. We just Marnie him. Maybe he draws into the nuts and then we Marnie that away.
I'm definitely just gonna hit this. Uh, I don't really want to bench anything. I'm just Marnie. I'm gonna keep that bench bottle. But we need Coco still at some point. We don't actually have a basic line in the discard until this gets knocked out. Ooh, we did get a boss for next turn. That could be huge if my opponent doesn't get anything here. You put the energy on the Sapthos. Sure. Just swing for 80. Now this thing. If he does, I don't think he plays scoop up net, right? So if he doesn't have a scoop up net, this thing 50 HP. Let me. We need a 70 HP Pokemon to play. Next turn, I think I'm gonna go switch boss. Hit the Cinchino, so it'll have 10 HP left, so we can finish it off with the thing. Oh, we can actually knock out Minchino. Yeah, that's fine. We'll knock out the Minchino actually. Does he, oh, we got the nuts. No, the Marnie. There goes our boss. No, but that's fine. We have Air Balloon. If he doesn't knock out Zapdos, we go Air Balloon, knock out Snorlax. This hand's not bad. Let's see if he's able to knock me out here. He only has one fire in the discard. Ooh, we got the Cinderace. Wait, if he retreats the energy, I think it actually activates. I think it's actually, no, I think he can retreat and still attach. This is bad. I think we're still in an okay spot. Our hand is not very good, though. <sighs> yeah, it does work. Oh, my. We can go hit with Kangaskhan. Then he goes into another Cinderace. I'm going to promote Jirachi. Do a boss? Good. So we got Bird Keeper. I'm just going to Bird Keeper. We can get We can get more stuff here. There's the Bulcephalon. I'm not going to bench it, though, because he can boss it. Could bench Entei and put the Aurora Energy on it. Get rid of the Rowlet. How much HP does he have? 790. He still has enough HP to take a hit from Bocephalon. Ooh. I guess if he doesn't evolve this Minchino, which is gonna happen probably. Yeah, there it is. Ooh, boy. Marnie is the thing that's kind of scaring me right now because Marnie's kind of giving me these awkwardish hands. We still need to get a play where we were able to pop the Coco and go Bocephalon's Fireworks Bomb attack. Fireworks Bomb is gonna be how we're gonna win this. Yeah, he's got the double Cinderace. This is not good. There's a research. That's not a Marnie, at least. Hmm. We can hit with Rally back. I think we just go Rally back here. Because then we can get into a play where we go both Cephalon's Fireworks Bomb Attack. gonna rally back we need to find oh we need to get you get Oko. let's promote jirachi and hope for the best mewtwo's huge okay so we can mewtwo or bird keeper we need to hold on to the hand because we have the stuff on we need to get into the tapu coco how many quick balls have we played? One. Hopefully we get a Pokemon search here so we can pop the Coco. So we go Kangaskhan. There we go. Got the Coco. We need to not get Marnie though, which is kind of the tricky thing about this. We could just preemptively bench this. He probably has a boss, right? I gotta hope he doesn't Marnie me. If he Marnies me, we're probably gonna lose this. Actually, we could have quick ball for Coco, but then he bosses it, right? Yeah, we gotta pray he doesn't Marnie me here. If he Marnies me, we're in trouble. We lose if he Marnies me, I think. Just swing with Flare Striker. He's got five cards left. We need this Bulcephalon turn. If we do not get this Bulcephalon turn, this game's over. Let's go. Okay, we got it. All right. Oh, wait, did you... actually, if Coco's prize, we're also gonna lose. Let's see. All right, here we go. Do we need Leon? Mew might be relevant, right? How many boss we did? Nah, we want to save boss. 
We, actually, nothing can... No, rally back, not so bad. We're going to immune. Please don't tell me Coco's prize. <laughs> Bruh, what do you mean? No, dude. Oh, no. So frustrating. That sucks. How much HP does he have? 90? How much are we doing with Hoopa? 30, 50, 70, 90, 110. We're doing 130 damage. So we can still knock out his... Okay. This game is definitely far from over, but yo, that is so frustrating. Knock out with Hoop, I guess. That sucks, bro. I'm pretty tilted, not gonna lie. Just knock him out. Now if we get Coco, it's not as important. It's still good to have Coco, but it's like... It just sucks that it had to be prized. There it is. No, dude. We're not going to win now because Coco just wasn't wasn't able to come to her hand at the right moment. It's still possible to win this. We need to take a knockout every single turn to keep up. How many Rozzy play? Ah, the Coco, bro. There's like a very... I mean, I don't know. If he somehow doesn't get a prize this turn, maybe we can win. But he's definitely going to get a prize. Let me switch out so we can Got a bird keeper. We still have, a, we still have four switches left. Or we got, we got the net and three switch. Bro, the Coco Bean prize just sucks so much. Yo, if he doesn't have the rod here, he loses. Well, he still has a Marnie, I guess. Actually, do I want to get Marnied here? Fine, because we still go rally back. I think we're still going to win this game. But it's like, it's going to be very close. Man, that sucks. I'm just so upset that we had to prize the Coco. Because now we wanted to do the wombo combo with Bolsafalon. Now we don't get to do that. We would have knocked out Cinderace. Knocked out Snorlax. We would have won the game with like Entei. If it doesn't get rid of my hand though, we can still win by going rally back. Boss. Maybe. How many rare candies is he down? So he's definitely going to Cinderace me next. You knock out the active, and then we just boss something on the bench. It's going to have to be that, because we can't do enough damage to the Cinderace to one trip. So we got to knock out the active, and then we got to try to boss. We could actually just boss the score bunny. That's if we find a switch. So we pop Coco. Yeah, if we don't get a switch, though, this game's, like, over. Promoting Nente is risky, though. We might just... Win. I, I think we just gotta go Drachi and pray we don't whip switch. We top deck it. Whew, that's a relief. There's the other boss. If we knock him out, we'll take... We'll keep the boss in our hand. Or in the deck, just in case we lose it. Or not lose it, but I, I mean, like, uh... We don't, uh... We get Marnie, is what I meant to say. Well, Cephalon's literally useless. 40 damage doesn't matter anymore. Pop the Coco, put the energy on Mewtwo. We could actually put on... No, we have to go pop. Let's put on... Put on Mewtwo Entei. I don't know. It doesn't really matter, actually. We knock him out with Zapdos here. Could Marnie his hand down? That's not going to matter, though. We just need to make sure we have boss in our hand. We need to be able to boss, right? Boss how we win the game. We could, like, bossing, actually, do we just boss score bunny here? Yeah, if we boss score bunny, you can't do anything about that. Yeah, yeah, we might as well just boss score bunny. But then he can't get another Cinderace, and then we just knock this out. All right, you know what? That works out too. All right, never mind. I overthought that play. I overthought the play. The only way he can win is if he has like a boss stamp to one knockout Entei. This was a very stressful game. I, I'm just so sad we didn't get the full cephalon on play. But you know what? We might still be able to win this. He has to have like an energy removal card. I just can't see how he's going to stop the Entei from rallying back. And then we have Zapdos, which can finish this off too. I think this. I think we've checkmated him. Oh, he's going to scoop up the Cinderace. But that, he, it's not like he can't attack and take a prize turn. So it's not going to matter. But at the end of the day, it's fine. It's interesting he did play scoop up now. I actually didn't expect the scoop up nets. 
I really didn't. But now we can definitely just win by bossing out Snorlax or Score Bunny. Maybe, was the correct play actually to go Entei? No, we need the Entei because, I don't know. We just gotta take one more prize to win this game. He can go Sinchino and he can do Make Do, right? How much energy has he played? Six fires, two captures? He can do Sinchino. We can't win the game if we go Sinchino. Yeah, he still take two prizes. Like, it's still hard for him to win this at the end of the day, right? Maybe the correct play was going Entei. How many Aurora's have we played? Two. Maybe the correct play was go Entei there. Maybe we should have put the energy on the Zapdos to preemptively retreat. But I just thought he was going to knock me out. But yeah, we should have put the energy on the Zapdos. But I didn't expect the scoop up net. But maybe the energy on the Zapdos is correct play. Does he even have a way to shuffle his deck? If he Marnies me, that's going to help me. Okay. So if we just get switch, we win or switch boss, whatever. Okay, we got the switch. Crouching get his boss. Okay, we might win this still. Let's see. I don't quick ball because we have still we have still have a high chance to get a boss. We've only, how many have we played? Just one? Yeah. Still two. I mean if he promotes he might just promote Snorlax and pray I don't have a switch, and I just switch into Alright, we just need boss. There we go. What a what a stressful game. What a game. Alright, GG Flex Daddy. That was a really good match. You almost, you know, not using Coco with the with that one play kind of stings, but we still managed to squeak out a dub. That was a really good match. That was, that was a really good game of Pokemon right there. That's why I like this Aptos deck, bro. Just take your early prizes. Alright. Dude, he says. Alright, now we're going to switch over to Dragapult. Uh, yeah, Dragapult. Uh, Weezing's... Oh. Dragapult or Weezing? I think we just go Dragapult. I don't trust Weezing. He's not going to play Dawn Fan again, obviously, but he might play Extra Drill. I don't know. I'm just going to risk. I'm just going to go Dragapult. Play it safe and see if we can get a 2-1 victory over Flex Daddy here. Here we go. Alright, he'll go first. So yeah, we go Weezing. Or not Weezing, sorry. We go. We just go with the uh, baby Dragapult deck and just try to cheese him. Here we go. Here we go. And before he's playing a deck that can damage me. Is there any deck that can damage me? I don't think there is. Uh, he won the coin flip, so he's going to go first. All right, cool. Here we go, guys. Can we go two and one? We got a point, which I'm happy about. In fact, we got a point. It's really nice. Oh, no. Our opening hand's bad. Not like this. Not like this, bro. Ooh, we better draw something. Can we get Donk? Not sure. We still have a couple turns. We still have two Pokemon in play, but it's like, bruh. Give me some order. Capture energy? Is he playing a... Con oh, did you go back to Cinderace? He did. Okay. This is going to be an interesting matchup for sure. Cinderace versus Dragapult, it's kind of sketchy. Not going to lie. It's a little... Yeah, Cinderace. It's a little sketchy. I should have... Now I wish I did go Weezing. To be honest, didn't expect the double Cinderace deck, though. I honestly didn't expect him to go Cinderace twice, to be honest. Maybe I should have won Weezing, predicting that. We can still win this. As long as our ability is just working, we can win this game. We also, we need a top deck, like a Sonya, a Quick Ball, anything. We do have turn to Dragapult, so even like drawing an Evo Incense can help us. He might Marty me though, which is pretty generous, so we'll have to see. Yeah, he has a pretty nuts hand here. Yeah, pretty much his perfect start he can ask for. Good thing he didn't have the start against that. We wouldn't have been able to do as much. There we go. Quick ball. Great top deck. He didn't play any stadiums, right? Yeah, he didn't play any stadiums. We just get Snormandies. Hope for the best. Hope Snorlax lives, too. Ah, uh, we didn't get Dragapult to go with the rare candy, bro. No, we got Sonya. Okay, if we get knocked out here, we're going to be in trouble. If he doesn't knock me out, we're chilling. If he doesn't knock me out... Yeah, if he doesn't knock me out, we got to hope for the best. If he doesn't Marnie me... Marnie knockout is what I'm scared of. We can still try to get another Snorlax. So. We might have to sacrifice a few big boys until we can get a Dragapult up. 
You could drop like a Rosa. We have a lot of outs. Okay, he doesn't get a knockout this turn. This is good. Will he Marnie me though is my question. Will he Marnie me? Where do I also want to put the sturdy damage? I think we want to always put on the other Cinderace because we can set up a one-shot with horror energy. Okay, that's a good burn. I don't know how many nets he plays, but the more nets he burns, better, because sometimes we have to spread out the damage. I'm actually I'm surprised he's doing this, because he's not knocking me out this turn. Yeah, I'm kind of surprised he's doing this. I know he wants to thin. I don't know. I guess he's going to let Cinchino send the active. We draw a Dragapult here. That's good. Vincino's okay. I think I just play Sonya. He has a three card hand. He has... I think I just do Sonya. Definitely just go Sonya for Reapy Vincino. There's a Rosa. That's a huge top deck. Get more sleepy Dreepies. Four man dies for a single card. That's actually a good card to draw because if we do get Marnie here, we can get rid of it. We have a busted hand. We go Rosa, double Dragapult. So hopefully he knocks me out this turn. And hope, okay, if he knocks out Marnie's, we get a bad hand, we're in trouble. But if he doesn't, we're chilling. This hand is really good. This is an insanely good hand. So hopefully he doesn't Marnie me. Make do. Get sort of capture. No Marnie one time? Come on. I'm fine with the boss. I just don't want him to Marnie me. Okay. No Marnie. Nice. This is still bad, though, because if he knocks out Dragapult, we're back to square one. Because we, that reset an energy on our board, which kind of sucks. I think I'm always doing Rosa here. Get double Dragapult. Do I want a Minchino? Get rid of the Sonya? I don't actually know if I want to get rid of Sonya. Yeah, I'll get rid of Sonya. Get rid of Boss might have a bad. I'll just get rid of Sonya. Here we go. This is going to be a huge turn. We have to hope our ability comes in clutch. I'm always going to put damage on this to set up multiple KOs. We can never one-shot a Cinderace for chilling. So if we live the turn here, we're going to be in a really good spot. If we get knocked out, it's going to be a little awkward. But let's see if we have a second Dragon Pulse. So we can sit behind a Snorlax again and try to set up. Maybe I should have kept Sonya, though, to maybe try to get Dream Piece back. I don't know. We'll see what happens. This is all going to come down to a coin flip, which... Yeah. Not much more to say. It's going to come down to a coin flip. Here we go. What's going to happen? See, now, if I chose Weezing, we'd be cool because Weezing's ability shuts off, you know, Cinderace ability, shuts off Min Minchina, all that good stuff. He's gonna Marnie me. That is totally fine. This hand was kind of, kind of weak. We just need to drip, get more Dreepies. Leapy Dreepies. Here we go. Nice. Almost Marnie me into an even better hand than that last one. And again, this is gonna come down to whether or not he even knocks me out. If we get knocked out here, we're gonna be in trouble. If he doesn't knock me out, we're chilling. I'm scared of him bossing again. If he knocks me out. Come on, Dragapult. Your ability has to work. This is like the one time I need your ability to work. It's actually really good we're getting the knockout too. Come on, Dragapult. You got one job. I need your ability to work. Come on, Dragapult. Don't do this to me today. Come on. Come on, buddy. I know your ability's good. Come on. Here we go. Let's go. Dragapult for the win. All right. Cool. Oh, oh my God. That was a good top deck. Yeah. Now we're in a really good spot. I'm going to play this. We don't have any GPs left. Get the own. Two energy in the deck. We have three energy left. We probably quite a few energy. Okay. We take the KO. 
We should have been Shirachi, actually. I don't think it matters, though. So, we want to go... 20 here. Because he could boss around the horror energy. 20... I'm down to 120. We just put one there. That was a huge heads. Alright, let's see. There's our candy. Okay. We're in a pretty good spot right now. If we get another heads, this game's like all um, like we're we're gonna be in such a good spot. We fail Ziva Winsense. Marnie, that's fine. This hand was pretty weak, other than having the rare candy, but we didn't have much to go. I should have maybe benched uh, the Fiona, the Drachi, though. Definitely a misplay not benching one of the two, but it's all good. Not amazing. We could boss. Nothing boss matters. Let's see if he gets another uh, Cinderace down. He hasn't played a single rare candy yet. How many sports is he down? Down three Marnie, one boss. One, down four draw supporters. I think this deck only plays like a couple, so it's, it's pretty good. Maybe we want to establish another Cinchino. Here we go. If we get heads here, we're chilling. No. Okay, this is kind of bad because we also didn't get an energy off that. Off that uh, Marnie there. Good old Marnie with the dead hands. I definitely should have benched Rachi. Now I regret not doing that because we would have seen an extra card. That was so silly. I don't know why I didn't do that. Raw top deck. It's pretty good. The bag Dreepies. We can always sit behind the Snorlax if we want and then hope he doesn't boss me. We need an energy. We just put two back. Come on, don't let me down. There we go. Another Dreepy's pretty good, too. Not sure it matters where I put this damage. We have two horse. We can take 40 damage. That puts him down to 130 HP. We always want to go, like, one and one, then. I think we'll put two here. It doesn't matter where we put the damage, because he's only going to take 40 damage when he hits me. Oh, no matter what, he'll go in range of getting KO'd. Another energy is a good prize. If we can live the turn, I think we're going to win this. I think we're going to be in a really good spot if we if we live the turn here. Okay, that's going to be the Cinderace, right? Yep. He still needs an energy. How many energies has he played? Oh, he's played eight of his energy. He might be a little low on energy. There's like a slim chance he might not find energy here. If we live the turn, though, we're going to be in a really... We're, I think we're going to win the game if we live the turn here. Okay. Here we go. He could... Oh, I'm trying to think. Okay, he did have an energy. Does he have a score bunny? He doesn't. Okay. We need to live the turn. If we can live the turn here, we're chilling. Come on, Dragapult. I need you to do this. Come on, Dragapult. Oh, this is so intense. I just want to win this, bro. <laughs> Come on. I want to make that. I need those points, bro. Come on, Dragapult. You got one job. You need to live the turn. Come on, buddy. You can do this, Dragapult. You can do it. If not, again, we can sit back by do Snorlax. But come on. We need the, We need it, Dragapult. No, Dragapult. You let me down. Like this, Dragapult. No, dude. Do we have any base energy in the discard? We don't. That's so unfortunate, Dragapult. What are you doing? We've gotten two tails so far. Fun time. An energy assist system here. That doesn't really matter, right? This gets an extra energy, but it's not going to make a difference. There's Marnie. Come on, we need a good... We need to get Dragapult. There we go. Got Rare Candy Pult, too. I can do this away. We'll see what we get off this Make Do first. Double Evo Incense. Let's double Dragapult. Actually, I don't think I go Snorlax here because we have no way to move it. Maybe we should have went Energy Assist then. I mean, we just let Kale the Jirachi though, which is fine. And the Dreepy. I'm 
I'm gonna keep the bench side open in case we want to go Fionn. We need Dragapult to get heads. If we're getting three tails, bro, it ain't cutting it, Chief. It ain't cutting it. How many rods have we played? Just one. Honestly, I kind of maybe thought I should have just kept Sinchino in the actual spot. Um, there's like, part of me wanted to do that because now if Drachi doesn't move, we're in trouble. We are down three of our air balloons. But I feel like he's going to have to take a knockout. He has to take prizes, right? If he plays three boss, though, I think we just lose because he can just go boss, boss. Yeah, we have no way to put... Yeah, we don't ever bench Reapy because we have no way to get Dragon Ball back in play. No, we have one in our But we don't have any Dragon Balls in the deck, so it's not worth it to bench it. We'd rather keep the Fion just in case we ever need it. If he whiffs the attack here, we're big chilling. Yeah, I should have kept Sinchino in the active spot. I regret that. He doesn't have the attack, it looks like, so... I should have kept Sinchino in the active spot. We can still find ener uh, energy won't matter. We can go air balloon. Uh, I should have kept Sinchino in the active spot. I wanted to prioritize my Sinchino, but I should have just moved the Sinchino. Yeah, Sinchino still stayed in the active spot. Oh, he has the knockout. Oh, okay, never mind. I totally forgot about net. Let me see. Does how many nets would he play though? He's got a. He doesn't play that many. I assume so. Yeah, I'm fine with this. This is going to be a coin flip game, guys. I'm going to Marnie him first. We need a... We, we with energy this game. That spot. No, we got the energy. Alrighty, then. We got a boss, too. Still only played one rare candy. Which is still kind of... Must be Rod... Bench system doesn't matter because we already have two bench targets open. We got one whore energy on. Doesn't matter where we put this damage. I think we always just put it here. I don't think it matters where we put the damage. We need to start getting heads again. If we're getting more tails, we're in trouble. Now, will he find a Cinderace? Mo He's got two in the deck. He still needs another energy. And he put an oh no, he put one fire back. Dragapult, you need... If Dragapult gets Tails here... Oh, yeah, no, it was good to put three here because then he, he gets knocked out if he... No, it doesn't matter, actually. Because the horror Energy won't activate. Okay. We need to not get Tails again. That's two Tails, one Heads. If we get Tails again, this is just not good. We really need to get Heads here to even have a chance of winning this game. There we go. Finally. Bio time, Dragapult. Big heads. We can boss, knock out the score bunny, and hit the Cinderace for 30. I kind of like that. You might not be able to fall with an attack. I think we do just knock out score bunny. Because we have the other guy ready to go. So I think we do just knock out score bunny. We doesn't have another Cinderace for quick. Let me just put two here in case we get heads. Just cripple his Cinder Aces. He's out of Score Bunny. He has no Rod left. That's his last Pokemon. All right. Yeah, that was a good. That was definitely the correct play to do. Okay, Marnie. We do lose that energy. We whiff energy, and if he knocks me out, we could lose this game still. Okay, we got Rose Energy. We got Rare Candy, too, so we can get another Dragon Bolt. Not that it matters. The only way I could see him winning this is if he traps Snorlax. So we need to try to keep an energy. If we get heads again, this game's over. It's game over, I'm pretty sure, anyways. He's out of attackers. Dragapult, you're supposed to get more heads, but that's fine. As long as he has no way to win the game, we should be chilling. What do we top deck? You know, we Rosa. Yeah, we have enough energy. We're fine. How many Marnies is he out of? 
It's out of Marnie, right? Any Marnie? Yeah, yeah, it's out of Marnie. You can just get whatever. Yeah. Pretty sure it's game over here. Just to make sure, though. This Phantom Force. There's nothing he can do, right? I can't see any crazy plays he has. I think, indeed, the game is over. Yeah. Dragapult, you did it. You did it, buddy. You're, you got heads at the right moments. Kind of. The only way he can win this is if he has, like, a... Like, boss tool scrapper. But we have we still have an air balloon. So I think we got him. All right. GG. GG like that. Yeah, that was... Those were honestly three really good games of Pokemon. That first game was a little shaky, but um, I could have played that first game better. But yeah, those were just three really good games of Pokemon. That was those were just really good games. Um, and yeah, we got a two-one win, so we got two points, which are really important to help us keep up in the top eight, um, or at least bubble us back in. But yeah, that'll be it for the video, guys. Shout out to Flex Daddy once again. His channel will be linked down below. I'll see you guys in another video. This video is like 15 minutes. I'm gonna end this now, but thanks for watching, guys. And I'll see you guys next week.